this video is on how to measure an angle using a protractor. So I am starting off with a picture of an angle. So here's our angle and it is an acute angle which means it's less than 90 degrees so I know that to start with. Now to use my protractor I've got a central point here where the vertex is going to lie. So I'm going to take that and line it up exactly where my vertex is on my angle. Then I kind of swivel it back and forth as if it's a hinge right there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up this reference angle, the reference line, with the base of my protractor. So from the vertex, whatever line is or whatever part of the protractor lines up, I'm going to line it up there. Then I'm going to look at where this X angle extends to. And it looks like the angle is extending to right at 54 degrees. Now I know I'm not reading 130 because I know this angle is less than 90. So I'm going to read it off of the top grid, which is about 54 degrees. So that's what that angle measures, 54 degrees. Now let's look at a second angle here. What if the angle isn't long enough? Well, you've got a couple choices. Um, this particular protractor has got a little um, hinged arm, and I'm going to use it to, to show the angle, and then I'm going to show you a second way. Okay, so I'm going to line up my vertex inside my reference point here. I'm going to line up my reference line with the side of my protractor, and I'm going to swing this arm around, and I'm going to swing it around until it lines up with my angle. And when it does, I'm going to go up here and read it. Okay, so my angle is acute, so it's greater than 60, and it's not going to be 120, so I'm going to go up and read that. And it looks like it's 68 degrees. So this would be a 65 plus 3 more, 68 degree angle. Okay, the other option is I can take my protractor and extend the sides of my angle so it lines up. So I can take my angle and just extend that side up and then I can use just the regular protractor for reading it. So again, I line up my, my vertex, I line it up with my reference line and I can look at my angle at 68 degrees. I actually prefer using a line that's drawn. It just to me is a little more accurate. So I hope this video was helpful on showing you how to use a protractor.